This should be a very quick video. Uh, I noticed that when when I downloaded uh, this version of Eclipse, for whatever reason, it picked a JRE, uh, a Java runtime environment, instead of a compile um, environment. Uh, let me show what I'm talking about. If I go to Windows Preferences, and I go to Java, and then look at Installed, if I can find it again, there it is, Installed JREs. Let me expand this so you can see it. My JRE is pointing to my Java home, which is Java 1, JRE 1 1.8. That's not what I want. I want a JDK. So let's remove that. Add a standard VM. And now I have to tell it where my Java home is. And I know my Java home is installed under Program Files Java JDK 1.8.045. Yours may be 055. It might be slightly different. I'm going to grab that whole file, drop it in my JRE home. Tab once, and it should discover that this is a, a JDK 1.8, and I'm going to make that my default. I'm going to click OK. Now let's see if I can get this this uh, to sort of work. <laughs> That'd be nice, huh? Okay, so I'm going to continue, get rid of this, clear this, and let's prove that it works. And uh, that's fine. Okay, I'm going to create a new uh, project, new Java project. I'm going to call it test project01. It's going to give me a source uh, directory. I'm going to say add a class. I'm going to call my, my package com.cic181.examples. And my class name is going to be called main class. And I'm going to give it a entry point. In that entry point, I'm going to say System dot out dot print line. Hello world. I'm going to save it. Select the project and run. And sure enough, prints hello world. Uh, let's take a look at this real quick and say run configurations. And yep, it's looking to point to that main class. And that is terrific. It's working as expected. Okay, so now, just so I can prove that this is going to use a compiler instead of a JRE, I'm going to convert this to a Maven project. Right click, I'm going to say configure, convert to Maven project. I'm not going to make any changes, I do want to package this as a jar. Click finish, and it's going to do all the work that needs to be done to move it over to a Maven project. And I know that I have a Maven project because I have a POM XML. And I'll explain what all that stuff means later on. But just know that I got a POM XML that Maven's going to use to be able to build and install the project. Let's right click, go to Run As, Maven Build. My goals are going to be uh, clean and install. And I'm going to run it. Now, it's going through and cleaning, getting rid of in the target directory any jar file that was generated by the project and rebuilding it. But now before it does that, it has to download and install all the Maven files because it's the very first time I've run a Maven command under this installation. I've got a build success. It's telling me that it installed, i.e. created and moved the jar file over to my target directory. Let's take the project, right click and hit refresh. I'm going to go into target and I should see a jar file. That jar file was the was the build and, and packaging of the project. Excellent. So my JDK works. I've got a simple Java project. I have it converted over to a Maven project. Everything works as expected. And uh, on to the next installation.